Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. He couldn't have pressed that switch! Well, Mr. Justice, the piano does seem to be playing when the guitar catches fire. Well, then let's use well, the mixer. Uh, well... It's okay. We all make mistakes sometimes. Apollo, were you wrong? I can't be wrong. I, I'm young and invincible. <laughs> Everything makes perfect sense. How could it all just... Strange. Uh, what's strange? I was talking like Edgeworth briefly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just... Something's odd about the performance there. Yeah. Odd? Play the mixer. Mr. Justice, if Machi Tobae didn't press that switch... Then he could not be the accomplice you claim he is. But but everything points to it! Every fact says he's the accomplice! You got the facts wrong, man! Here's some facts for you. Here Gavin's are, guitar is on fire. Here are some I am facts. look like a shark. No, dude, look at the spelling. Here are some facts. Oh, here are some facts. How did I not see that? Here are some facts for you. <laughs> Gavin's guitar is on it's fire. Like, it's like a, not a German word. It's nowhere near long enough. Here are. Hello. Here are. Here some facts for you. <laughs> yeah, <lady. laughs> Gavin's guitar is on fire. <laughs> but the pianist didn't press that switch. In other words, your story is full of holes. Mr. Justice, let's hear your final opinion on this matter now. Was the defendant Machi Tobaye the accomplice? Your answer will reflect on everything you've said here. Give it some thought. Apollo, if Machi's not the accomplice, then our whole case is ruined. I know that! It has to be him. He was the only one who could have helped the smuggler. He had to have pressed that switch. Well, you'd better find a way to prove it. Ah! What do I do? What do I do? Ah, there has to be something that doesn't fit. Something odd. Something odd? Wait a second. W what? You thought of something? What was Gavin saying just now? Something odd. Strange. W wh what's strange? No, it's just... Something's odd about the performance there. It's not much to go on, but it's all I've got. What exactly did he hear that was odd? Have you come up with something, Mr. Justice? May I remind you that everything rests on this. Can you prove Machi Tobaye pressed that switch? Let's hear your final answer. Can you prove that Machi Tobaye pressed that switch? Yeah. I don't know if you call this proof per se, but I can prove it was possible. Then as prosecutor, it falls on me to ask you to show us the supporting evidence in this. Air Forehead, you're sure about this? Ha! Accept it. There's no evidence, man. Mixer. Let's see your evidence, Mr. Justice, on what do you base your claim that the defendant pressed that switch. My attorney's badge! I based it all on this! The basis for my claim is this evidence, Your Honor! I'm not sure I follow. Ha! You can't bluff your way out of this one. Nor can you prove anyone pressed the switch with that... evidence. Maybe I picked the wrong evidence. For every bluff, there is an equal and opposite penalty. <laughs> Ugh. What did Gavin hear that was odd? He's the- oh, that's the only hint I've got here. If Machi's hands were tied up playing the piano... The basis for my claim is music, your honor. Music? What about music? I was right! Let's listen to the piano part around the time when the switch was to be pressed. Right before the guitar burst into flame. I hear a piano being played. But, doesn't it sound kind of simple? Simple? Ah, uh, I think you- I know what he's suggesting. You think Machi could have played that part with one hand? One hand? He only needed one hand to press that switch. He could play the piano with the other. Ha! What, so you're some kind of piano savant? <laughs> um, actually no, and neither is Mr. Wright. <laughs> then what do you know? You can't play a part like that with one hand. Ugh. Maybe... I don't know what I'm talking about here. Wait, I know! Hey, Trucy! Yeah? You got something? Mr. Wright, your father, he's a pianist. Could he? Oh, Daddy? 
He couldn't play a part like that even if he had three hands. <laughs> so sorry, so sad for you. No, not really. What? Huh? <laughs> that was just the easy way to prove it. There's always the hard way. Man, how are you gonna prove whether you played it with one hand or two? You can't. I admit it will be rather difficult to prove, but it's highly likely he was playing with one hand. <laughs> how do you know that? The clue is what Prosecutor Gavin described as sounding odd. <laughs> oh, sweat now, man. Oh, man, mm. my hair's getting wet. It's flopping down. <laughs> what sounded odd? I'll bet we can tell by listening to a certain part of the psalm. No. No way. Listen to the recording. Well, it seems we've come to the moment of truth at last. Let's hear what Mr. Justice has to say for himself. Show us the part that proves the defendant was playing with one hand. Right before the guitar burst into flame. Machi was definitely playing one-handed just before the guitar caught fire. And one section of the psalm proves it. Proof that he played one-handed. That part, absolutely, you could have played it one-handed. 100%. What? That's the section? Hmm, I'm afraid I don't hear it. What's your opinion as an artist, You just go, Gavin? buh, buh, psh. It's a beautiful song, and the lyrics are outstanding. I'll take that to mean there isn't a problem with this section at all. Wait, so what was the odd thing that Gavin heard? The switch was pressed in the first half of the second verse, right? I know, I just need to find a place to compare to that. Your Honor, if you'll give me one more chance, I think we can find it. I suppose we don't have a choice. Very well, you claim the defendant was playing with one hand when the switch was pressed. Oh, wow. Maybe it's the no first penalty. section. No penalty. Beep. 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 And bloop. And present. <laughs> oh. Prosecutor Gavin, I'm sure you've realized by now just what it was that sounded odd to you. It was very simple. As I'm sure you've realized it yourself, Air Forehead. R realized what? I'll demonstrate. Let's listen to the part in question again, shall we? Pay particular attention to the but a fleeting melody phrase. Man, 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 how many times do we have to listen to the same thing? Thank Amen. you! <laughs> You're right, enough of that. Let's listen to another section, shall we? Another section? The guitar burst into flame at the end of the second verse. Let's listen to the same spot in the first verse. Pay attention to the O of that night in your embrace. Oh, play verse two again. No, not again. Okay, I forgot how many times you have to watch and listen to this. Pleasure. <laughs> there, did you hear that? No. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they feel the same, true. But they're clearly very different. What? Well put, your honor. The phrase in verse two is quite simple. But the same phrase in verse one has high and low notes. You'd have to use two hands to play that for sure. Ah. <sighs> What's that prove? I would think you'd know that by now. This is why I hate dealing with amateurs, man. So the two verses had different arrangements. Happens all the time. Not this time, Darian. There's no point in changing an arrangement if you can't hear it clearly. And that wasn't the point. I had him play specifically so that the piano would stay in the background. Oh. Oh! That was what I noticed. Why should the same phrase sound slightly different? I asked myself. Now ask yourselves why Machi changed how he played, and there's only one answer! He needed a free hand in order to press the switch! Uh. <laughs> Come on, just 
like, break down. Order, like order, that. order. I believe this ties all the facts together. Well, Prosecutor Gavin? Yes, quite. Though, personally, this comes as a terrible disappointment. Heh. <laughs> what? No comeback? I can't believe it! I finally did it! I shut him up! Very well, barring an objection from the prosecution, I will now state the court's opinion on this matter. <laughs> he just rips out a gun. <laughs> Good show, Sleeves. No, great show. It's not over? I don't like it when he looks so, so happy. So you tell him, Gavin. Tell him what's so disappointing. Personally, I'm terribly disappointed in you, Air Forehead. In huh? Me? Yes, don't get me wrong, your case is solid. The facts all check out. But even now, you have yet to show us a single piece of decisive evidence. Come on! Yeah, but the facts, anyone can see it was him! Unfortunately, anyone does not include the law. I'm afraid your case doesn't cut it. But, but... That makes no sense. A thousand facts might point towards the same conclusion, but without decisive evidence, it's not proof. That's the rule under our current legal system. I don't believe it! It does not seem as though the defense has any more evidence to present. So thus, he's guilty! Huh? Oh, I think we- I think if he did, we would have already seen it a long ways back. It is unfortunate, but at present, this court is unable to acknowledge your accusation. What? WHAT?! The truth is staring us all right in the face! Why can't they see it? What's the point of a legal system that protects criminals? Apollo, remember what Daddy said? It won't be easy proving he did it. Especially not under the current court system. So what do I do? Like I said, good luck. And be aware that it will be impossible to prove his guilt by conventional methods. Ugh. Every man has an igniter inside him. Find Darian Crescent's igniter and set it off. We burn him! <laughs> <laughs> we burn him at the stake! <laughs> I wonder what he meant by every man's igniter. I think he just meant a weak spot, no? No, I think he meant igniter. Just press the button and see what happens. <laughs> the kind of thing that, would, uh, that a single spark could turn into a wildfire of emotion. I won't be able to press him further by conventional means. I've got to find a weak spot in this guy. Something fatal. So, can I get back to work now, or what? <laughs> I may look like I have a lot of time on my hands, but I got no more time to play pretend with this deadweight attorney. Hmm. Well, Mr. Justice, we've come this far without decisive evidence. This witness won't be coming back to the stand once we let him go. Every man has an igniter. Huh? Didn't you say the better the guitar, the brighter it burns, Prosecutor Gavin? Ah, yes. Good guitars are kept dry, is why. That provides the best sound. Even a small spark could cause irreparable damage. Your plan has an igniter in it too, detective. It was there from the very beginning. What? Fighting time, Justice. If you blow this one, <laughs> he'll be out of your hands for good. Go for it, Apollo. <laughs> what? And this igniter is supposed to come burn me up? That's almost poetic there, Mr. Attorney. All the better. I'm rather fond of poetry. And I intend to hear this one through to the very end. What is this Doki Doki Literature Club now? <laughs> oh man, I hope we pick the words that we want the girl to like. <laughs> I made a poem for you, like, lady. This is literally just 20 random, random words, words that you thought I would like. Yeah. Why did you pick cute and why did you pick suicide? And suicide. <laughs> cute suicide? No. No, there's no cute suicide in that. <laughs> no. Air Forehead, you are accusing this man, Darian Crescent, of two crimes. The murder of Mr. <laughs> and the smuggling of Bo the beginning cocoon. 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 <laughs> this is your last chance to prove your case. This trial has already run on far too long. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Mr. Justice, this will be my last warning. The moment this igniter of yours turns out to be a dud is the moment this cross-examination ends. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Then let's have it. Show us the basis for these accusations against Darian Crescent. Okay, this is really my last chance. The key that will take apart Darian Crescent's plan is evidence or a witness. Who would we call? Vavin Grammary. Tuxedo Mask. He comes and does nothing. <laughs> he comes in, he shoots a rose, and then he's like, I'm good. Shoots a rose? Like, you mean makes a rose no, appear? He, he, no, he like throws it. <laughs> and it like pierces things and 
And, and then like, he burns Dairy Crusade to the stakers. No! No! Although I just watched an episode of Sailor Moon where there was a fake Sailor Moon that was like almost burnt at the stake. So. Wow. Uh, okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> the defense is prepared to show the court evidence. Ha! Be my guest. Be all of our guests, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence supporting your accusations against Darian Crescent. Burn him alive! <laughs> this is your igniter? <laughs> so, uh, exactly how am I supposed to react to that? Ah, he's not flustered at all! I picked the dud! I'm afraid your poetic tale ended up to be mere fantasy. Reality bites, Mr. Justice. Penalty. Oh, I thought it was like the whole meter. Yeah, me too. They made it sound like it was the whole meter. Ow, ow, ow! I suppose we should let you try once more, <laughs> even though we already said it was the one chance. <laughs> Show us the basis for your accusations against... Uh, what's his face? Call a witness? Is that what we're supposed to do? Your igniter isn't a piece of evidence. Huh? So what is? It is true that I couldn't show decisive evidence. But perhaps what I needed to prove my case was something else. You mean, a witness. Proving his guilt is a tall order. But I've got just the person to do it. Very well, Mr. Justice. Who is this person who can prove Darian Crescent's guilt? Phoenix Wright! It's <laughs> always him! This person... is your igniter? Ha! Exactly what are they going to testify about? Go for it! Call him to the stand! <laughs> He's not scared at all, is he? Ah, <sighs> wrong person. I'm sorry, uh, it was an honest mistake. One more try, Your Honor! The court advises you to be aware that chances are limited in number. I think you're the one in need of a little igniting. Uh, I suppose we should let you try, <laughs> try once some more. more. Um, who's the person? See, if only we had spirit channeling, then we could channel the dude. I would love to uh, call Valley Grammary, but I don't think <laughs> he's already on a train. We <laughs> could call him. Just a thirty-minute recess. <laughs> it would be like a two-hour recess at least. Because he like left on a train at the beginning of trial. Like I'm not going anywhere near this courtroom. <laughs> uh. But that's maybe, that's why. I don't want to put Machi on the stand because I know that he didn't want to go on the stand. But he also might try to keep his mouth shut because he was afraid he might get caught. True. It's one of those two. Nobody else. No, he's on a train to nowhere. You're gonna <laughs> see if he hits the mic. Yeah. The one person who can prove Daring Crescent's guilt is the defendant, Machi Tobaye. You, your client? Again? Machi Tobaye was an accomplice to the cocoon smuggling plot. Without him, Derry Crescent could not have gotten the cocoon. Furthermore, he can easily prove that the one who plotted to smuggle that cocoon is the real criminal in this case. Hmm, how so? It would require just one of the very cocoons Mr. Latus was looking for. With the cooperation of the Republic of Borgenia, we could burn a cocoon. The burnt cocoon would leave a particular residue. A residue we would no doubt also find inside the burnout guitar. Aha, very scientific of you. Thus, if Machi Tobaye acknowledges his agreement with Darian Crescent concerning the attempted smuggling of a Borginian cocoon, the case is solved! Um, he'll <laughs> die. <laughs> um, Darian's laughing again. <laughs> Your unrelenting passion is remarkable. You really want to get me, don't you? Too bad you'll never be able to. Why not? The little key tickler won't acknowledge anything. Especially not anything to do with cocoon smuggling. What's this all about? Taking a cocoon out of the country means death. By Borgenian law. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, see? If our pianist really was a smuggler, then testifying about it would be suicide. Believe me, he's not talking. But you're wrong, Detective Crescent. What? It's the other way around. If Machi doesn't admit to smuggling here, he's in deep trouble. Huh? How? Look, if Machi admits to smuggling here, then he'll be tried in our courts by our laws. You don't get the death penalty for smuggling in our country. Ugh. The victim in this case was an undercover Interpol agent. I'm sure that news has already reached Borginia, and they'll likely broadcast our dealings in court today. Including the part about the Borginian cocoon. Yeah, but, but, but! But, if Machi doesn't admit to smuggling now, he'll eventually be picked up by the Borginian police. And it's not like he's in any danger in our court. 
We're not going to find him guilty of murder here. Not now. Yeah, but... You can't do this. You can't. You can't accuse me. Maybe the law doesn't allow it. But who's going to think you're really innocent after hearing this trial? The same goes for Machi Tobae. Ugh. The cocoon smuggling, your entire plan. Machi Tobae knows everything. There's only one way out of it for him. And that's to acknowledge his own crime. The crime of cocoon smuggling. <laughs> D don't worry there. I'll get... I'll get you out of the country. I'll set you up someplace. A hidden mansion? Real nice. You want a house made out of cookies? Or no, a house made out of pianos? Come on. Please! Don't talk! <laughs> he looks like Shadow the Hedgehog moving around. Darian, I consider that my last session with you. We rocked. I'm guessing we can treat that outburst as a confession. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's laughing again. There's a kind of sick desperation in it now, though. Now he just looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> Did Machi not have to get up then? Well, have you been listening to today's trial? Yes. And you'll talk? You'll tell this court everything? I didn't want it to turn out this way. But I'm not the kind of lawyer who can overlook a crime. Today's trial was all for your benefit, you know. I see no reason why you should hesitate now. I knew. From beginning, I knew. Machi. Situation. I cannot explain. But money, I needed. Very much money. Today's trial raises a delicate issue with our legal system. The only thing definite in a court of law is evidence. This is the golden rule, however, it has become apparent that not all things can be tried by this standard. Yeah! Should another case of this sort surface, we may have to consider an alternate system by which to administer justice. Anyway, Mr. Machi Tobaye? Yes? I promise you will receive a fair trial by the laws of our country. And, with regards to our current charges for the murder of Mr. Latus, this court is prepared to announce a verdict. You're still guilty! Oh! I thank you. He has the most beautiful blue eyes! <laughs> I like sunglasses like, better. He looks like the, the human version of a Luma. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks! <laughs> or, or maybe... No, actually, he still looks like the um, character from House Moving Castle. All of the Queen's servants. <laughs> All of them. All of them. <laughs> I only lie, but you see truth. You find truth. That's our job. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Machi Tobaye. Not, not guilty! guilty! Who's throwing the confetti now? Gumshoe's, Gumshoe's not still here. Gumshoe's still throwing it. Gumshoe's even... just in the back like, oh yeah. I go to every trial and throw confetti, even if it's guilty. <laughs> <laughs> You're guilty! <laughs> yeah! To be fair, that's appropriate for case 2-4. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Court is adjourned. July 10th, 4.42 p.m. District Court. Yeah, I guess Valentine Defendant Gregory's Lobby, out number here. two. I wonder what'll happen to Machi. Well, he did smuggle a cocoon out of Borginia. I guess there'll be another trial here. All's well that ends well. Daddy! I owe you both my thanks. Lamawa? Okay, I gotta say, Lamawa's one of my favorite characters. She's cool. She's awesome. She's very cool, yeah. My, is something wrong? I'm sorry, I... Machi was your partner on stage, your friend. Yes, I thought of him as my own son. Even now I do. I still Yet... can't believe she's 40. She looks so young for 40. Yeah, but there are people like that. That's true. Something got a hold of him. Something evil. I see that. And he must pay for what he has done. Is that not how it should be? I'm still sorry. Do not be sorry. You have given me courage. Courage? I am considering an eye operation. 
It was my suggestion, actually. You mean, you'll be able to see again? It's funny. I've always been afraid of the light. Light seems so harsh, so unforgiving. According to the doctor, Lemawa lost her sight due to some kind of accident. An accident? As you know, I suffer from amnesia. I feared that if I could see, perhaps it would open my eyes to the truth I've been running from. I was scared. You know what changed her mind? Hearing your defense in there today. She could feel your gaze, unwavering, always looking straight at the truth. If the light returns to my eyes, I think I will take up painting. Painting? Th that's right! She's the landscape painter in sound, after all! I will paint the two of you, I promise. Woohoo! I can't wait, Lamewa! I owe you my thanks too, Apollo. Uh, thanks, Mr. Wright, but for what? You reminded me I need to hurry things along. On my secret mission, that is. Right, your secret mission. Apollo, Trucy. I hope that we will meet again someday soon. You bet! Me too! And so, like a ballad, the trial flowed on and on. Jeez, <laughs> that was a long trial! Until it came to the end. Thanks to the trial. Wow. The guitar serenade was a huge hit. They didn't hit. have the thing at the end that was like, but I feel sad about this thing, if only you could cheer me up with evidence! Oh yeah! That's they a rarity! Have, they didn't have anything in this. That's a real rarity, actually. It's only like a handful of cases that that happens where- That's in all- No, where where you don't have to present Oh, it. okay, I was like, yeah. Yeah. Prosecutor Gavin's even more dazzling to look at now. Oh my god! But there's still something I want to say to that guy. Next time you write a ballad- Have him catch the killer at the end! The end. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the name of the next one, and I kind of want to Brand see the Brand new next episode one. has been added. What's it called? It's Turnabout Succession. Oh, that says nothing. <laughs> or are you thinking, the turnabout that happened on the top of a train? <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't what I was thinking of. I was just like, you know how Serenade, it's like, okay, it's going to be something with singing, or something with, yeah. like, a performance. But this is just like, Turnabout Succession. Is it success in money? Is it success in ice cream? <laughs> sort of. No, no succession, not success. Oh, so like taking success. Taking over of, for someone, basically. Oh, maybe a uh, walkie's back and they no. made the <laughs> okay. key lime pie. So, just a, a glimpse ahead. Next case is a bit polarizing, I'll say. So, general, polarizing. So, generally, okay. for Apollo Justice, case one is universally loved. It was, a, I would think it's a really good case. It's a good case. Case two, most people are like, oh yeah, that's fine. And I'm like, that's like the worst case ever. Case three is pretty universally reviled. They don't like it? They hate, they hate oh, Tournament Serenade. I thought it was fine. Mm. One thing for people who are like, this doesn't really make sense, like ma like the whole like Machi couldn't see, but and like, also like the but gun was Lemon really Walk heavy and all this stuff, and, and like all this stuff. One thing that like the de uh, the developer of the game like told people, but like didn't actually make it into the game was like because Darian is a detective, he was like pulling strings behind the scenes to kind of speed stuff up or make things. Where it's like that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but like let's just push it through anyways. Yeah. So then case four is a bit split. So I think it's a really good case. It's my favorite case in the game. Okay. Some people are like have big problems with it. There are there are legitimate criticisms. There's yeah. two plot holes in it. Two plot holes. Wow, that's a lot. For that's a right. lot, but I'm actually okay with it just because you'll Some, see you'll see, you'll see what, and okay, also you are. can explain them, but it's it's rough. It's rough. Okay. But I'll get okay. there next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. It's gonna be awesome. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Object. Okay.